This has been the best holiday of my whole life. A seven days cruise among the islands of the Galapagos, 600 miles from the coast of Ecuador and the lands which inspired Darwin's theory of evolution. Nine islands with different characteristics were chosen for us to explore in order to see the greatest variety of plants, wildlife and landscapes. Formed by underwater volcanic eruptions, some islands have lunar-like landscapes with sharp black lava rocks and lagoons surrounded by bright green foliage. Lava crack cactus grows in crevices and on the lower level grow tall, impressive cactus trees. Three million years of isolation allowed wildlife from Galapagos to develop into species seen nowhere else on Earth. We were amazed to see penguins swimming in warm waters. We walked between flightless cormorants sitting on their nests, unperturbed by our proximity. The only flightless ones in the world having adapted to the unique conditions on the Galapagos. Perched in a tree above our heads was the magnificent Galapagos hawk, feared by all creatures, possibly looking for a carcass to pick. Here, dead animals are never buried. They are left as food for other creatures. More common, but very colorful, were boobies, blue-footed and red-footed, pelicans, both white and brown, and the graceful red-billed tropic bird, and greater flamingos favor the lagoons. It was the mating season for the incredible great frigate birds, and we were given an astonishing display by the males as they inflated their red throat sacks to attract past partners. Animals, too, adapted to their special environment and developed differently from their ancestors on the mainland. We gazed in astonishment at the giant tortoises, some 600 pounds in weight, and the animals which gave the islands their name. Seen in abundance were the dragon-like Galapagos marine iguanas, the males at their brightest during the breast breeding season. Not so numerous were the Galapagos land iguanas, though less threatened now that imported goats have been eradicated. The Galapagos fur sea lions, once hunted for their pelts, have also made a comeback. All these animals can be seen only on the Galapagos. Unvisited for centuries, they never learned to fear humans and they accept a tourist as just another creature and do not run away. On the beach lie dozens of seals and sea lions, often side by side like huge fat sausages. Sally lightfoot crabs, whose brilliant color is meant to keep predators away, scramble over our feet on their way to the rocks. But now I see the pandas are approaching to return us, tired but entranced, to our ship, MS Ambassador One. Tomorrow we visit the Charles Darwin Center on Santa Cruz, and then, sadly, we turn for home. We have swum with penguins, seals and sea lions, walked among giant tortoises and land and marine iguanas basking in the sun, and we have been fascinated by the colorful birds and the beautiful landscapes. I shall never forget these islands. They have been a joy to explore.